Hey viewers, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing a Digimon TCG app. This app is actually only out, was only supposed to be playable in Japan, but through a couple tricks we're over to play here in the US, and so I wanted to show some gameplay footage. The reason I'm going to start this gameplay footage on Yellow is for two reasons. A, Yellow is my favorite of the three starter decks, so I decided to I'll do this because I'm not doing all the colors. Uh, there's a lot of videos already on, out, going out on YouTube where people are doing a lot of the colors, so I didn't want to do that. And because, yeah, like I was talking about the videos on YouTube are already going down, and no, none of, uh, not a lot of them have been playing yellow. They've been playing red, and then some people like Wasi Place have been just finished playing blue, and you can only expect yellow is coming next. So I figured because nobody has played yellow yet, I'll play through yellow. So let's hop right into this gameplay. So when we just beat the blue campaign, or blue tutorial level so we're getting to yellow now this is my first time playing the yellow deck so i'm gonna make all forms of mistake i'm even gonna lose multiple times i'm not the best digimon tcg player actually i'm not the best tcg player at all i just love the game and love how it plays so we're gonna have a bit of fun they're just explaining stuff to us i already know how to play the game and i already know what all the cards do even though they're in japanese so we're gonna have a bit of fun here we're gonna set down our security nice Draw opening card, hand of five. Sweet. Okay. Now, looks like it's my turn to start. No, had my first Digimon. It's Tokomon, my favorite of the three baby Digimon, purely because of artwork. I love those teeth. I know it's kind of weird, but I do. We're going to, we have a couple choices here. We're going to evolve up into Salomon because he's our only level three. We're going to draw. We're then going to play this Tamer. He's actually really good. And we are going to pass our turn because the memory gauge went over to our opponent's side. Now, if you guys don't know how the memory gauge works, then just keep watching throughout this entire video. It looks very cool, and it kind of explains to you how the memory gauge works. Just by watching, you probably can figure it out. If you can't, well, I'm sorry. But there are videos on YouTube, multiple videos, where you can figure out how the memory gauge works. So he, on the other side of the field, is just evolving on multiple times, evolved all the way up to Metal Greymon on his turn. Which I think is pretty cool. Now we're gonna send this out of the raising area. I don't. I don't think that's actually the smartest move to do, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to then. And we can't hatch the turn we raise. As see, I try to, but I'm not the smartest person because I forgot that you can't hatch the turn you raise. But I can play Digimon. I have three memory on the gauge, so if I want to evolve this Digimon, I can. But the only level four I have in hand is in. A Unimon, and I'm not really too keen on playing a Unimon, though it, if I do play it, it won't cost me all my memory, but if I attack, maybe I should attack then play the Unimon. I think that would be the better choice, because then I won't have to worry about attacking the Unimon. I'll just hope he doesn't get a really strong up. Well, I would have destroyed my Unimon either way, so I guess there's that. Now, I can play a Unimon onto the field now, but it's going to cost me 5 instead of 2, because now I don't have the ability to evolve into it. But I think that's my only option, especially since it can block. So we're just going to do that and give my opponent two memory to work with. Now the blue deck actually has a lot of memory ramp. Like, it gains a lot of memory. It has the Spark Hammer card, and it also has some other cards that would ramp memory, which I didn't really expect from the blue, but I guess that's how they play it. Their blue's going to have a bit of memory acceleration by itself. Oh, it's going to strike straight into my... Security, I can't block. Even if I try, I'm just going to get murdered. We're going to take that damage, I think. <laughs> okay. So he's going to play a tamer, and he's going to go over to our side. Nice. All right, but that's going to make his Digimon even more beefy. We're now going to evolve. I mean, hatch, and then evolve. Ooh, we get this card in our hand, and it's actually going to do... The perfect amount. So that allows us to weaken our opponent's Digimon. But to be honest, if I play it. Ooh. That would. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to end my turn. I think we have to attack first. That will minus my memory by two. Oh, and it's gonna also going to destroy my own Digimon. Wow. Okay. All right. I still get the player card. Get everything. This is probably the dumber move. You know what? It's kind of risky, but let's do it. 
Ok. Ok. I have five memory to work with. I was about to give him seven. He's just gonna swing in and do a whole bunch of damage to my Digimon. I, I don't think, no matter what I flip here in security, when this guy attacks, I can't survive his attack. Oh yeah, it's over. I'm gonna take whatever damage he deals out. Even with this guy on the field, it's basically impossible. Oh, now it's basically impossible even for me to survive any damage he, I may do. Alright, we're gonna pass, I mean. We could block it, and then this huge attack won't go through, but we're gonna take it. Oh, perfect, too. This lets me play him for free. Beautiful. Alright, my turn. Okay. Nice. Should we move him out? Nothing to evolve him into. We're going to... I mean, I like to build out my Digimon into security before I send him out, but I guess we're going to do this here. And we have some memory to play around with. I kind of just want to play Magnum and Digimon, which is dumb. So I'm going to save my life in my turn. I'm going to just attack then. Let's see, try these stupid waters. Yep. I knew whatever he flipped was going to kill me. I don't know why I did that. My bad. Stupid move. This stopped him from getting security attack, but I don't think... Can you check their, their um, uh, evolution sources? Interesting. I wish you could. Maybe. It doesn't look like you can. There you go. Okay, so... I have nothing to do. Um. Oh, I played it. Great. Can I go back and I cancel that? Does that mean cancel? Okay, it does. Good. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do this. Why I do that? That was so dumb. Suck at this game. Wow. Whoa, really? Oh, yeah, because this gives him plus 7,000, right? Okay, that was dumb of me. I played terribly. I'm gonna lose. You can evolve up to Metal Greymon. Now he's gonna murder me. Of course. Of course. Of course. Basically, I'm finished. Basically, I'm finished. I have no memory to play with. All I can do is attack, and he's gonna murder me. There's nothing I can do. He gets plus seven thousand DP. Nothing I attack. No Digimon. That has that card can't be a Digimon. It has to be like an option or something. And that's the only way this Magnamon doesn't die. Magnamon. But I don't think I have any other outs. Okay. So basically, that means nothing. He has no more security. I'm gonna play this last card. I think I might be able to win this game despite all my dumb plays. Let's see, if he can do some crazy stuff right here, I might be able to win this game. He's going to attack me as long, as long as he doesn't get another Digimon out that doesn't have any security attack. This, this going to the field, then he can make get some security attack plus one. That's all, and that's all he's going to need to be able to beat me. Okay, so I'm basically dead. If that ha does indeed have the security attack plus one, then I think it does. Nope, just gonna add it to my hand. Well, and actually, no, he can't kill me with security anyway. So, look at my hand. Anybody who knows me in the real life knows 
my innate ability to brick cards. Look at look at this hand. I've been barely hitting any level threes all game. It's just straight up ridiculous. But we're gonna play this down. And we're going to attack into his life for game. That was scaring me. I did not think I was going to win that. But that's going to be the Digimon TCD gameplay for this app. Hope you enjoyed it. So, whatever I did. If you didn't, then I'm sorry, I guess. Um, Comment down below what you think about the app. Like this video if you want to see more Digimon content from us. And subscribe to this channel if and notify. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more Digimon videos from us here at the Roost. We'll be bringing more battle videos soon. I think today or tonight we'll bring a video about how to play Digimon TCG on Untapped for free. And I'll see you guys later.